What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Critical Overlord. Here, so we're talking about Jeepers Creepers Four again today. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. We're gonna go over the Creepers' new look, the image that came out earlier today, courtesy of, if not earlier today, I think it was yesterday, maybe earlier today, courtesy of Matt Barkley over on Instagram. Um, his page is private, but I'll make sure, of course, I show it in this video. And of course, if you follow me on Twitter and you've seen me talk about it in the community section of this page, you already saw it. But the other stuff we'll be talking about is related to the director of Timo Virenswola. I'm pretty sure I just botched that name. He talked about the fact in a new interview recently that he did with TerrorWeekend.com. He talked about the fact that he has had no communication with Victor Salva. He's also had some updates on his journal of the project that he's been going through where he shared new images he also confirmed the title of those journals related to the working title of the project that i've talked about jeepers creepers are born the working title was actually called going places and i'll just start off with the interview so he was asked how did he get into the project and he says he got the draft for the new jeepers creepers and it was under the working title at the time named going places and this came to him courtesy of one of the one of the producers from Iron Sky who had met with the Jeepers Creepers Reborn producer, Jake Seal, and he was looking for a director of a horror project, but he didn't say anything about the name of it. And then I guess as Timo was reading it, he became he became just, I guess, excited over the fact that he realized that what he was reading was the next Jeepers Creepers project, potentially that landed in his lap. So, of course, him being a fan of it, as he explains in the interview, he had to jump on board the project. He also talks about how he understands that most of his other works have been science fiction, while this is a little bit sci fi in ways. This is more so in the horror genre. Uh, and he knows that there's certain different vibes and things you have to do here where you have to make sure you are evoking fear, terror, shock, and just going over how it makes it easier to create an atmosphere when you are going for those type of emotions. So he goes on to also say that he thinks the first trilogy or he was asked about the first trilogy and he says that he's always adored the original Jeepers Creepers because he thinks the Creeper is a unique monster and that the movies have huge amounts of horror but sometimes they're not totally serious and they allow moments of fun and madness to emerge as well those moments of fun we know we saw more so in jeepers creepers 2 with the creeper and the way he was interacting with those kids on the bus so the final question or one of the other questions related to victor salva he was asked did you speak with victor salva and his response was no do not speak to him at this time or at any time as he is not involved with this project he also was asked, will the Creeper's truck show up? He confirmed that, yes, the Creeper's truck will show up. So as you see on your screen here, the images that he shared on his journal site did include a shot of what looks like the Creeper truck with a sheet over it. So at some point, I guess this could be how we find out where the Creeper's truck was during the events of the second film. Why no one stumbled upon it until now, I guess, will be a question that goes unanswered. Not to say that when people stumble upon old, bizarre, random trucks that they always take them and do stuff with them. But, you know, those are some cool little tidbits from that interview. I'll also leave a link to it in the description if you want to read this interview in full of the one Timo just had recently. These uh, new images coming across your screen, one was of D. Wallace, one was of the new House of Pain, one was of Ocean Navarro working as whatever character her name will be in the film the other thing i wanted to talk about was peter brook peter brook recently posted this image that you see here where he was talking about the fact of a new interview is coming out soon for his character regarding jeepers creepers reborn we know we've gotten one already for the character of chase we got one for the character of lane from sydney craven and Imran adams now we should be expecting one from the character of Stu as portrayed by Peter Brook and I will say that my guess is probably that if it's not coming tomorrow on Thursday it'll come sometime of course in the next week or so but I'm just going off of that off of the trend I guess they might be trying to go with releasing stuff on Thursdays at noon and of course we'll know for certain when we get that random email saying that something's coming because usually they send us emails but they didn't do it with the last one I think they waited until the interview was actually posted with Imran Adams. But the other thing we need to talk about was, of course, the Creeper image. Now, so as you see here on your screen, this is Matt Barkley standing next to what can I what I can only assume is Jaru Benjamin in full Creeper makeup. Now, this is the best image that we've had so far of the Creeper, in my opinion. Of course, 
I'm on the same boat with all, every one of you for the most part. Jonathan Breck's design and the original design will always be superior, but this design here doesn't look too bad with the proper context and seeing that they are going to, I guess, darken the appearance a bit is not going to be that brownish look that we thought we were going to have. Now, what I can also add is that maybe his look will change as the film progresses. For whatever reason, maybe it just grows darker from that brownish tone that it starts off with, but I just hope it doesn't start off looking brown at all whatsoever. Uh, Jaru Benjamin looks great. The makeup looks, I would say, decent enough. Uh, it's acceptable on, on my end. I think it looks acceptable. The Wishmaster jokes, those are still welcome. I, I get it. <laughs> but this is like, honestly, if you're going with the Rebirth theme, if they're just trying to be very literal with this and take it to the next level, I guess having a new look would be the next thing, uh, not just looking the same you did 23 years ago. So the other thing, of course, with this look is that whether or not this is Jonathan Breck or not, I feel as though it wouldn't have mattered if we got Jonathan Breck back. They would have given him the same makeup that they gave Jaru Benjamin. Now, would the makeup have looked cooler on Jonathan Breck? I am going to be a little bit honest and say that I am curious to know how this makeup would have looked on Jonathan Breck. But of course, the design, just like how Jonathan Breck's design was different in the third film, it was just going to be a different design altogether from the get go. That's just my honest opinion on it, because the design was different in the third film. The design was similar in the second film outside of just, you know, the fact that instead of being gray, it was dark and tarish. But Jaru Benjamin, this image of the creeper little bit more context to it. it doesn't look that bad and honestly if they're going to be making him look more blacker similar to how he looked in the first and second film i'm fine with this look i'm fine with this look for now uh, i do know that there are better shots of the creeper that maybe i'll get to talk about in the future i haven't seen them yet but maybe the person who's told me about them will share them with me at some point and i'll talk about them on the channel once the movie's been released apparently there's another shot of the creeper that's just far superior to this where he looks even better but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video